Um, so you've heard from a lot of people tonight who have created all sorts of fancy and cool tools. Just to be very clear, I am not one of those people. Um, I really don't care about the creating of tools. I like to use the tools. I like to have the tools. But what I'm more focused on is how can we use the tools to make sure that they're working the way that we want them to and to change behavior on a very broad and systematic scale. Um, so this comes out of my work, my meta-research work on improving the quality of data visualization and statistical analysis in the basic biomedical sciences. We published a lot of papers on the problems with using bar graphs for continuous data, poor statistical reporting, other problems, and journals are starting to change their policies. And editors for those journals are now coming back and saying, we have 700 editors, we can't make sure that everyone is consistently checking everything, what can we do? The other reason I'm interested is due to the issue of preprints, which Shyam just very nicely introduced and set up for me. So thank you for doing that, Shyam. Um, and so preprints rest on the idea that authors will receive and implement feedback prior to publication. This is an open question. Will they? We know that most authors don't get a comment on their preprint, and we have no idea how many authors are getting feedback through private emails or other channels. Um, and we also don't know if we send them stuff on common and well-accepted problems or suboptimal practices with information on tools and resources for implementing solutions, will they use that information? Can we use this on a broad scale to make the literature better? Um, and can we use systematic interventions to change standard practices and improve reporting? And this is really important because it's hard to rely on reviewers. If your reviewers and your editors are used to standard practices in your field, they're not going to flag those things as being problematic, and it's hard to rely on them for change. So what do we do about this? Well, I coordinate a, screen, a group of people who have different automated screening tools, and that includes Shyam's tool, um, that includes Nico's tool on bar graphs, it includes some other tools on blinding, randomization, power calculations, and research research identifiers. And all of us in this group are working together to look at trials. Um, so what we want to do is first off test out these tools to see the, do they work. So if we identify a bunch of preprints that have errors, and then we ran randomize them to either no intervention, so they have an error but we do nothing, um, to a comment posted on BioArchive, or to an email intervention sent to the authors where we do the same message both places, and then we follow them for 18 months, what happens? Do we see improved practices in either updated versions of the preprints or in the published version of the paper? And is this potentially an effective strategy for implementing changes on a wide scale? And once we have this kind of a database, we can also start to look at other questions, like um, are authors who receive these messages and who implement changes only doing it in one paper, or do they carry it forward to their other future publications? Are certain messages more effective than others? Are certain resources more helpful than author for authors than others? And so on and so forth. So if there's anyone who's interested in that, I'm more than happy to talk.